we're going to have a little highlight package of the day's best waves. And uh, here we go. This is Jada M. Fitzharris earlier this morning with a nice 7-6-7. And she unfortunately lost out in her next round. And I actually saw her uh, over at the showers having a little bit of a cry. And that just goes to show you how much it matters to these surfers. Yeah, absolutely. And, of course, to the team. Next up was Bronte McCauley. We saw her get all the way through. She surfed three times today. And every time she came out, she surfed like this. Big power turns and a really great surfer there from Western Australia. Yeah, when, when your dad's a former top 10 WCT or you better be ripping like that. Um, it, next up, it's going to be Melanie Giunta from Peru. I'm pretty sure 833 on this wave and she lit it up today. Yeah, really, really smooth surfing. Uh, she was eliminated at the end of the day, and so the Portuguese surfer not able to make it into the final two days. But really well surfed here. You can see a really diminutive figure. Kept the board moving all the way through the soup, and uh, just great surfing by that young lady. And next up, uh, it was the men's under 18, and that was Eli Steele. Huge blowtail wraparound out on the open wall. Wow, this kid has some talent, and that's why he's still left in the event as he draws down the line. I'm pretty sure this was the wave that took Cooper Chapman out of the event, Fuley. Yeah, it, uh, it gave him the score that he needed to move into second, but unfortunately it meant Cooper Chapman was out. Colin Moran up next to 7-3-3. Yeah, Team USA from Newport Beach. I surf a lot with Colin, and he's finally kicking that little flu bug, and you can see Kanga and the boys were stoked with that. And here we go with Rodriguez, that mental two-air wave, Fuley. Yeah, this is fantastic. Watch this. Into the air reverse. Recovers. He did this a couple of days ago as well. His ability to recover is just amazing. And hey, hey let's go again. Let's just fly four feet upside down on a, a waist-high wave going no speed into the section. These kids are acrobats. I love the no-claim look. No-claim claim. And then here we go. This was Karina Duarte on the backhand. We just actually saw her lose a heat, but she surfed well earlier in the day and uh, definitely, ri oh my gosh, big backside hook right there. And that's why she made it through so many rounds in this rapid charge uh, rounds. Yeah, as you mentioned, just eliminated at the end. No more Portuguese women remaining. Then it was Koa Smith of Hawaii. I love the Hawaiian chant down there. And you know Koa, uh, Koa excuse me, was uh, definitely going to be bringing it for Team Hawaii. His older brother surfed on the team. They're watching at home on Kauai, and that was the reason why Koa flipped his heat. And here we go with v Vitor Bernardo. Yeah, Vitor Bernardo uh, of Brazil surfed really well. Just got these ma this magic heat of right-handers, and with turns like that, great projection all the way through to the inside, and just like, ah, here we go, let's go into the end, and yeehaw, into an air reverse. Thank you very much. That's right all she wrote. Right in front of the South African flag, and you talked about good rights. Well, how about ending it out with Keely Andrews, 8-5, such a cute girl, and she just absolutely ripped this wave to shreds. Bang, vertical hook. Watch this little tail throw on the open wall, slashing and slicing. And we talked about it. It's her first uh, ISA World Junior, and it's going to be her last as she's moving up and out. And there's the Aussie, Aussie, Aussie chant that you know you love, Fuley. Yeah, well, they went 1-2 in, in that heat, and uh, they knocked out the uh, the Portuguese women's surfer. So 